just thought we'd go out for snorkel as a family in the Arvo. And then the next thing I sort of knew was that Taya kind of called my name and started tapping me and I turned around on the shark. Closer and closer, and yeah, and it was really scary. I kind of just when I first saw it, it just didn't seem sort of real. It's just it really sort of got on me. It just <laughs> it was really scary. Yeah. I just heard a blood curdling sort of scream coming from their direction, and um, came up to have a look and. Saw them frantically swimming towards us. Tried to calm them down and stop them panicking a bit and make a plan to come in because we were about 150 metres offshore. I gave my spear gun to Dad because he was looping around the back of us and I just had my knife in my left hand just because it was better than a fist and I just, I knew that it could come from the side so I was just protecting Tay so I knew she was petrified. Coming back in, I was very scared, constantly looking back for Dad, making sure he was okay. Yes, it would have been a frightening experience, but they did a great job keeping their eyes on the shark. So really they held their nerve and they did a terrific job and it's a story to tell their kids when they're older. We were definitely in a little bit of shock. It definitely scared me and knocked me out of it. But yeah, the ocean is a big part of our life and so I guess it is what we're doing.